ओम श्री सैराम सुंदर मुख श्री गजानना एक दंत श्री गजानना प्रथम नमामी गजानना ऋषि मुनि वंदित गजानना हे ऋषि मुनि वंदित गजानना ओम श्री साईराम This is the only avatar who has declared if you need him you deserve him and as mentioned earlier if we can love him and please him then we need not even need him there is no need to pray to even prove our needs to him he anticipates the needs of the situation needs of his children like divine mother his love for each one of us he has declared is that of thousands mothers put together i have given him a promotion on that i said swami no your love is of millions and plus mothers for each one of us we got to have shraddha and sabri god is never in hurry but he is always on time we the humans are always in hurry never on time patience is all the power a man needs this nature works on this law of infinite patience tagore has written i have mentioned somewhere o oh lord what infinite patience you have you take millions of centuries to transform one rock one stone into a flower shraddha and sabri when swami says trust in my wisdom it actually means trust in my timings if we can wait on him with joyful calm and loving trust i repeat with joyful calm and loving trust he can do miracles upon us and he can do miracles through us yes 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 and he has done it he has shown me is shown to millions when we love him intensely selflessly and involve him in every small decision making i know most of my friends as we call them poor husbands 
even amongst my close relations even my own brothers they would not dare to decide anything without getting approval from their wives even on small issues one of our most loving friend colonel sood was security officer in centurion once he came to our house he was a regular visitor and we used to visit house i yet to see is a more loving and gentleman person that to from army beautiful beautiful soul once he came and uh, we had offered him tea and even before taking tea he looked at his wife he got the body language and then he started i just jokingly told him sir you don't take tea also without her permission he said seriously harish this is the secret of my peaceful existence for so many years <laughs> so when we can and there are many but those very people who dare not open their mouths in front of their wives dare to question god's credibility <laughs> jokes apart on serious note when we can involve our boss at home or in our office to get to decide even small issues even most of the corporates offices government offices everywhere we are required to take approval and consent and go ahead from our boss is it not so if we truly believe that swami is our boss i'm talking about this 5 ft 3 inch god that omnipresent god the universal god we have already confined him to our temples to our mosques to our churches so that he does not interfere in our day to day life we can go and visit him whenever we wish on any particular day we have fixed the date also every juma for namaz and every thursday for shirdi sai every mangalwaram for anuman and what not shani saturday shiva monday we have given him each god one day one time fixed we go and just do over the ritualism and so long as we are in his presence in the temple we all are noble souls <laughs> but what happens to us when we come out of the temple or mosque or church we are our own real practical so called worldly self and that is the reason precisely the reason we have confined that universal god in temples and churches mm. our human mind is very smart mind it is like a young man learning business from father when he becomes confident he doesn't want father to interfere in every decision making of the business at the same time he knows that he will need his support because everything belongs to father so what we do is we create an air condition office inside our workplace for him to sit and relax we tell him now you are old now you sit i will do the job and if required i will take your advice which we never do and if he tries to interfere we see to it that he is put at home respectfully if at all we are good boys good sons this is what we do to our universal god <laughs> and that is how we make blunders himalayan blunders every day every moment but we refuse to learn wise people learn from others experiences average people learn from their own mistakes fools refuse to learn
and we dare to call our foolishness a sign of our progress. If we can get connected to him for every small decision making, get connected and be benefited. Don't confine him to temples and churches. Yes, we may visit temples and churches for our silent sitting and introspection. Manchi the good is a must. They have their own power. But don't confine God to that place, any place. Either he is universal God or he is your personal God. Temples and mosques and churches should be created and maintained. Not for promoting any faith or any religion or any God. God doesn't need any agents. This is what to say. It is both selfish as well as foolish idea. To confine him to any place, any nation, any religion, any God. Then he is not God. Then he could be a saint or then of course we can limit him to one place because they have limitations. God is universal or he is our personal God. We have to love that universal God as our personal God and we have to serve our personal God as universal God. Serve him in all. Unite to serve. Unite to serve him. To please him in all. To help all. To love all. Knowing that all are in him. And he is in all. And once we understand this basic fundamental truth, then even the so called odd situation or odd persons, we will know that it is he who is operating through each and every individual, be it Ravana or Kaikai or Mantara. He is the Sutradhari of each and every one of us. I have told that story in my separate talk. The one who hit me is the one who is feeding me. There was my friend Colonel Lal in Bangalore. He narrated this to me. His daughter had a dream in the US. Swami calling her to Puttaparthi. She believed in Baba but never had been to Puttaparthi before. So she rang up father telling him that I am coming by this flight but we will not go home. First we will go to Puttaparthi and then from after seeking Swami's blessings then we will come home. He said fine. So they drove directly from airport to Puttaparthi. It was afternoon, very hot afternoon. And they went to the accommodation office and this gentleman being army person and he was not actually a Samiti person in Bangalore but a volunteer helping in every activity. He was a very you know, noble person. A retired army officer. So he showed the identity, his identity and he showed the passport of his daughter because NRIs are given special facilities and privileges to stay. 
but the person inside the accommodation the old gentleman he shouted at him why are you showing off your identity of being an army officer or an ri you don't have this basic sense of discipline i am talking to somebody else just be in queue don't try to push he thought he was not pushing at all he was just following because there was a separate queue for inaras but who can argue the daughter heard and she being a daughter she got emotional she said father i am sorry i got you here directly from the airport i can't bear this anybody insulting you like this we don't want to be here any one one for one moment let's go back young girl from us impulsive angry young woman and apparently very right very logical but the father was wiser he had that patience the sabri mature person he said fine we will go back if we have if you have rather come from us all the way directly to this place to see this gentleman in accommodation office and get offended by his remarks then certainly we should go back but if you have come to see satya sai baba who according to you came in your vision and tell you that come to puttaparthi if you have come to see him then we have not yet seen him the daughter understood she said i am sorry baba we will stay we will find accommodation outside that very moment a voice comes from the same office Sairam sir are you waiting for accommodation can i please help you just one minute one and a half minute they turned back to see there was another gentleman he said sir please come inside they went in he then introduced himself hesitantly he said oh sir you are from army and she is in ri so you should not be standing in queue come inside he checked everything passport everything fine he asked them you want room with furniture with ac i'll give you the best room and i will arrange a labor for you to carry your luggage don't worry now father was looking at daughter and daughter was looking at father but to just to give satisfaction to his daughter this noble soul he asked the accommodation person sir excuse me just few minutes before there was a gentleman and uh, sorry to say he was uh, very rude i am also from bangalore samiti he said no sir he is very loving more loving than me but due to age he is a high bp patient and today at my request he worked two hours extra so maybe he got irritated because of that he might not have taken his tablets or food at the right time otherwise he is more loving than me you can come in the evening i'll introduce you to him he is very loving this is how divinity works he can change the situation into situation in one moment if we only 
have faith in him shraddha and saburi his love can enlighten us to his awareness awareness his awareness can lead us to follow his ways and his ways ensure his grace jai sai ram